So I'm very excited about this one because Pharaoh equals father and it's very similar to buckwheat in its texture and its size. Um, and the name is screamingly gorgeous, okay? Um, Pharaoh, F-A-R-O. And what's really cool in the sovereignty of God, Pharaoh, as in a ruler of Egypt in ancient times, uh, mathematically parallels Father, the top member of the Trinity, just like F-A-R-R-O. Pharaoh and Pharaoh, the king. But this is really cool because F-A-R-R-O, very glaring because F-A-R are three letters that exist in Father, and then R-O is a very famous way that God makes the number 33, which equals the. And there's many words where that R-O is strongly declaring the, like 33. Uh, so, very glaring. So, F-A-R-R-O adds perfectly to 58, which equals Father. And, I mean, you got the F-A-R, and then the R-O equals the word the in Father. So, um, I'm really curious about them. I'm, I'm chewing it raw here. Now, I got some uh, different types of rice on the stove. Uh, um, we got uh, wild rice and forbidden rice, the two dark ones. But, I chew these things raw first. And farro is delicious, great texture. I love the size of the grain, the crunchiness. It is very similar to buckwheat. It's my first impression in terms of chewability, size of the, um, the groats, the grain in within your mouth. Um, and I love it. I love the crunch. I love the size of the grains. And excellent excellent crunchy snack to get your saliva really going and of course I love the name Pharaoh because it equals father and the single A is the only plus one it's just a gorgeous mathematical name um, okay so I just want to record that on video I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've eaten this plain love it plain also obviously you can get some on the stove um, but I'm ready to pull these guys off we'll keep going